Thank you for clicking this video. Today in this video, I'm going to share some hacks which will help you to become a fluent speaker in English. And I'm pretty much sure that after watching this video, you must like this video because this video is going to be very helpful for English learners, especially who want to be a fluent English speaker. So if you want to be a fluent English speaker, please watch this video until the end. I hope it will be very helpful for you. And today in this video, I'm going to share some fillers gap fillers so i know many of you don't know about gap fillers so please watch this video until the end this video will be very very helpful for you if you want to be a fluent english speaker so let's get started so when we want to speak sometimes we need some pause or some you know some time for thinking like when we want to speak when some other people ask question we need some time to think about the answer or when we are talking we are discussing about anything we need some pause so when we remain silent our fluency actually our fluency breaks so when we want to be fluent but we need some pause or we need some time to think about something we can use some fillers which will fill our gaps and which will make us a fluent English speaker. So today in this video I'm going to share some gap fillers. So after watching this video you can understand what is gap fillers. I know it's it's a very new term. What is filler or gap filler? Okay. So like when you are trying to speak and when you need any pause, you can say what I want to say. Like what I want to say. It's a phrase. It's, it doesn't have any meaning as a filler. But when you are talking you can use uh, what I want to say, what I'm trying to say, what I want to say. So by saying what I want to say, you can take some time and you can, you know, if you need any pause, any gap, you can say what I'm trying to say. Or you can say, let me think about it. If someone asks you any question, before answering the question, you can say, uh, okay, let me think about it. Okay, let me think about it. By saying, okay, let me think about it, you can take some time then you can start your answer or you can say uh, well so well is a very common word so when you want to speak after starting your conversation or what you want to say you can say oh, well well so what is your hobby uh, well every people have hobbies like other people I have hobby uh, let me think about it so well let me think about it is that a very good question you can use it's a very good question well let me think about it you can use those expressions those phrases for you know for fill your gap or fill your pause then you have some time to think about it so you can use some other phrases like that's a good question that's a good question you can use another phrase that is you know you know so you know doesn't have any meaning so when you are speaking you can say uh, you know like now I want to talk about my uh, hobbies you know different people have different hobbies so here I have used you know, but you know doesn't have any meaning as a gap filler. So you know, you see, you see, when you are speaking you can use, like different people have different hobbies, you see. Uh, I have a hobby like that. So when you are talking you can use those expressions. You can use some other words like certainly, basically, basically. So subconsciously or consciously people always use basically, you know, you see. By the way, certainly, oh uh, well. Well, let me think about it let me explain what I want to say so people consciously or subconsciously use those words or phrases when they are speaking and those words or those phrases will make you fluent because if you use those words when you need any pause then you don't remain silent so it will make you a very fluent speaker in English and if you watch my videos I use those words frequently when I give presentation in front of camera and I want to share another expression which you can use when you are requested to come in front of people and give any presentation or any speech or discuss about anything. So when you are requested to come in front of people, then you can say, you can uh, start your you know, presentation or start your speech by saying, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say something. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say something. So when you are requested to come in front of people, then when you start your speaking, you can say thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to 
deliver my speech or thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say something, mention the topic, to say something about myself, to say something about some other topic. Remember this expression, practice this expression. You can frequently use this expression while you are talking. So that's all about today's video. I don't know I'm clear or not. So please write down those expressions or phrases. You can frequently use those phrases when you want to speak fluently. And I hope this video will be very helpful for you if you can use those phrases in your speaking. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do comment. And if you are a new viewer, please subscribe to my channel. Actually, I don't need many viewers or subscribers, but I need, actually I want to reach those people who really want to improve their English speaking skill. Because I'm doing some kind of research and making this type of videos, so that's why I want to reach people who need this type of video. Because I want to help other people, actually I don't have a very big setup, actually I'm recording my videos by smartphone. But I'm trying to make videos and I want to help other people who really want to learn this language, English language. Because I can feel the pain, what type of pain you have if you can't speak properly in English but if you think that you need English for your career, for, because you need English because you want to go abroad, you need a good job, you want to grow in your career, you need English but you can't speak properly, so I know your pain. So that's why I have created this channel, so please help me to reach people because I want to help people. So thank you for watching, this is Asif Ahmed signing out until we meet again.